we are back. You can see him work. Gosh, it feels so good to be back in our normal life. I mean, it was a crazy week in Bulgaria. Unfortunately, <coughs> we just waste our money. It was around 500 euro just to get there, the flights and uh, the place for Ziggy, the hotel. And we didn't solve any of our visa and staying in Europe problems. really good to be back it was a long day yesterday the flights from Sofia to Brussels and then wait eight hours and take the other flight to Lisbon and the landing in Lisbon was pretty freak out because it was so windy and the plane just go left and right <laughs> yeah but now we're back but anyway yeah it's it's really good to be back and in what we consider our normal life and um, so this week we're gonna start again produce some money work a little and get back on the road hitting north a nice walk with Z you really enjoy the beach So you can see it's really dark and rainy one side on the other side it's sunny and <laughs> we're in the middle <laughs> yeah and the windy is <laughs> so we're moving we go back to the other parking simply because uh, the one that we found nearby every day we have to take out like 10 ticks from Ziggy and yeah that's not a great job at least the other place it's tick free ticks free we are officially on the road yeah well we've been on the road but for the last three months we were kind of more steady than usual just in Algarve, you know, we know the places, we just move a little bit, the place where to fill water, the supermarket, people we know, people we've met, and now we, we spend a lovely day in Lisbon, so this morning we had a meet-up with Peter, that is a colleague, a director, and assistant director uh, from Brazil. In July he will start his own journey with a brand new Volkswagen Ocean for motion. Wow! So we are now in Cascais, actually after Cascais. So yeah, back on the road that means we start today our journey of probably around 2,000 kilometers from Portugal to where we can get the ferry to Ireland. This is the place that we found. It's pretty close to the beach. As you can see, it's right there. Well, there's no beach. Uh, huge waves, yeah. But we're back on the road. 
Yep. So this morning the, the topic was don't make plans, but <laughs> right, so we're just like five, 750 meters from the camping in Eliseira and 1.5 meters from a gas station. So it seems that the, how you call the level, level, the gas level doesn't work, so it's a sign that there's a lot of gas, but probably we're out of gas. So just walk there and I really hope that that's the problem. If not, uh, we'll see. Is that and I got almost five liter of Moritz favorite beverage. <laughs> Diesel. So we just need to put some gas and the camping is open. So that's what we need. So we'll check now if my conclusion of not having gas was right. We'll take a bit just to have the gas inside the pump. Sweating like a pig. So it's nice here, not expensive. 17 euro, by the way, to person, the van, and electricity. So we're plugged. We're pretty much alone here. There's a lot of space where Ziggy, that is someone there, can walk and take his time. And let's go for a shower. I just need a shower after this morning. It's just crazy. You have no idea how much you can appreciate small things like a hot shower. <laughs> Seriously, today with all the stress that we had, we've finished the, the gas. Threatened with the police. Threatened by the police because old lady that has a garage and we were parked, well not parked, we have to stop there just, and she can get out anyway, but she was screaming and telling that she will call the police and blah 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 <clears throat> and I show Armando famous middle finger by the way that was the case so after all these and going twice to the gas station to get some fuel so at the camping hot shower it's just small things and that's the great thing about van life you just really appreciate small things that's, that's a good thing Let's start to work, it's Monday.
beautiful day finally I'm vlogging even if I don't know if I still want to continue vlogging I just would like to be invisible I would like to be I used to say years ago I would like to be the most famous unknown person <laughs> yes. so no wind no clouds no rain it seems like we're in Portugal <laughs> so we're gonna drive today a little bit and uh, check the old school garage the mechanic because we have a few things we want to check a morgue and uh, maybe do an upgrade we'll see what we can do this week before to hit the roads to Spain and France so that's the plan what a beautiful place Ziggy, well, it's injured a little bit, but today it's better. And he bring back a little friend from the road. <laughs> Stay here, Ziggy. You like the food? Seems he like the food. Yeah, it's all yours. Good news, good news, the Vebasto Airtop 2000 just arrived at Rodrigo Old School Garage, so we go to take it and then we're gonna change location, go to Penish, a place we well known. Well, well, so from the <coughs> lagoon we're back in Amoeira, but it's a tiny town, just a few kilometers uh, from Peniche that is well known for surfing. Here, old school garage, Rodrigo, really great VW mechanic. And we just get the new Airtop 2000 from the Basto. As we can say, we're officially ambassador of the Basto. So I'm just coming here to get it. So here is the garage you also see the already the the mood and the feeling great t2 some westy down there and that's rodrigo that's my guy <laughs> that's it the air top 2000 that will go on work soon really soon so we can also go to the mountains in the winter and will be nice and warm inside the van. Keep on watching. <laughs> 